Hello, Dr. Mike Matthews, physical therapist here with the PT411. Thanks so much for joining me. If you already haven't done so, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram so you can be notified when I come out with new content. Also, make sure you check out our new website, thebt411.com. We have our videos nice and organized there. There's also some other informative content that I think you guys will enjoy, so make sure you check that out. Now, this week's video, we're gonna be talking about thoracic outlet syndrome and how to treat it. Last week, we talked about more diagnosing it, going through the signs, the symptoms, and a few tests to see if we can roll it in or roll it out or roll in and out a few other things. So before you continue on with this video, make sure you check out that video first. So let's just jump right into it. We need to open up all these areas between our neck and our thoracic spine, down to our ribs, down into our shoulder. We wanna open up all those areas that have that chance of closing down the nerve, the arteries, and the veins in there. We gotta get those areas nice and open up so it's gonna include a lot of mobilizations and stretches. We're gonna get started with our anterior and middle scalenes over here. So we're gonna to need to sit down for these. And the first thing we got to do is sit on the hand of the side that we're going to stretch out here. So sitting there, nub nice and tall so that we have a lot of tension right there. That hand is holding the shoulder down and depressed. We're tilting off to that opposite side, just straight to the side right there. Trying to bring this ear down to this opposite shoulder. Holding for 30 seconds, doing that three times. We also need to stretch out that anterior scalene, our stargazing stretch. So starting off the same way, sitting on that hand, we're tilting off to that opposite side and we're rotating up this way. Same thing, three times, 30 seconds. Now the big thing with these stretches, they can be used to treat thoracic outlet syndrome. They can also be used to help prevent it from happening in the first place. So whether we're treating it or we're trying to prevent it, we wanna make sure that we're treating and we're working on both sides. Now we also need to mobilize all of our vertebrae in that neck as well. Most people that develop this from a posture sense are gonna develop it from everything being closed off, everything being forward here. So we just need to reverse that position. We have to mobilize past it. So we're retracting that chin, going straight back this way. Make sure you're holding for a couple seconds at a time. Our spine, especially our neck, typically responds a lot better to repeated movements, so we're not holding it for a long period of time, For but like I said, that good two seconds or so. And we're doing a set of 15 at a time there. We also need to work on thoracic extension. We need to get our shoulder blades out of the way, so we're supporting our head right here with our elbows way forward here, and we're just extending straight back this way, trying to arch that upper back as much as we can. Those elbows have to stay somewhat forward this whole time. Same thing, repeated movement, a couple seconds at a time, sets of 15, working through it throughout the day. As we start to work our way away from the spine, we're gonna mobilize our first rib here. So easiest way here is we need to grab our belt. Then we're gonna sit back down I'm gonna put that belt over one of our upper traps right here. You're gonna bring it around your body and you're pulling it with that opposite hand. You're pulling down and slightly towards that other hip. And it's a little easier if that force is going behind you a little bit here. And so we need to take some pressure or some stretch off of these muscles right here so we can actually get to the rib because otherwise it's just gonna wind up that rib. It's gonna be nice and taut and we're not even gonna get a mobilization out of it and it's just gonna be a big waste of our time. So this hand over here tilting towards that side and you're just pulling down and towards that other hip. Hold for a couple of seconds before you relax. You wanna work on this one for a minute or two at a time. Moving out a little further, our pectoralis minor, we're gonna to need to stretch out that muscle. So we're gonna to need to find a corner for that one. We're gonna have our hands up a little higher, elbows up higher, elbows typically around our eye level. Have each forearm on either side there. We're gonna have one foot going into the wall. We're just gonna lean our body weight forward 
into that front foot, leaving our arms behind to stretch out that pectoralis minor. Now, sometimes our pectoralis major is gonna be a little tighter than that, so we'll have to stretch that out first. So if you feel like you're not getting a stretch or you're hitting pain or it's feeling off for you, we're gonna have to stretch out that pectoralis major. We're already in the corner. There's just a little modification there. For this one, we're just dropping our hands, our elbows down, so our elbows are even with our shoulders here, so that our upper arms are parallel with the ground. For both these stretches, we're holding for about 30 seconds. We're doing it three times, several times a day if we're actively working this thoracic injury. Otherwise, again, as a precaution, as a prophylactic measure, we're only doing it every once in a while here, maybe once a day. So moving even further away, we're gonna stretch out, we're gonna floss a couple of nerves here. We're gonna work our ulnar nerve and we're gonna work our median nerve here. To work that ulnar nerve, we can do both sides at the same time. The big thing is if you're working both sides, you really gotta make sure that you're keeping your shoulders down. If you're working one side at a time, you can use your opposite arm to help ensure that's happening there. We're gonna show you with both sides, but if you're having a lot of trouble with keeping those shoulders down, do one side at a time and just use that opposite arm there to depress that. So we're gonna make our okay sign here. Elbows are coming up this way. We're gonna rotate our palms up towards the ceiling, up towards the sky. If we can, we're trying to make goggles here. If we can't quite get there, go as far as you can. If we're having tension here, we're backing off on the elbows just enough that we're not feeling that tension anymore. And we're going back and forth here. We're doing two sets of 20 each time we do this. If this is getting pretty easy, if we're winding it all the way up and we're not getting that tension anymore, then we're going to one side at a time. You can tilt your head off to the opposite side while you're doing it, or you can move your head in sync with your hand here, or you can move them in opposite directions as well. Next up, we have our median nerve here. On this one, we're starting off the opposite way. Now our palm is facing towards our head, elbows up here, wrist is back. We're straightening it out this way until we feel that tension. We're backing off until we stop feeling that tension again. Right when we stop feeling it, we're pumping back and forth. Again, you can do this on both sides here in order to consolidate a little bit of time. We get to the point to where we're starting to extend that elbow out all the way, not feeling that tension. Go to one side again, tilting that head to the opposite side while you're doing it. Again, you can move your hand and your head together, or you can move them in opposite directions. And again, with these two exercises, these two mobilizations, we are doing two sets of 20 all throughout the day if we're nursing an active thoracic outlet injury or just every once in a while, maybe once a day if we're trying to prevent this from happening in the first place. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it informative. I hope it's helping people out. Definitely make sure that you're checking out the PT411 on, on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And remember, make sure you check out our new website, thept411.com. It's really cool, really informative, lots of other stuff other than these videos on there. I'm gonna be coming out with new content nearly every week, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Thanks for joining me.